Hello everyone, my name is Greg Larson and I would like to welcome you to another Siler Quick Tip. Today's Quick Tip is the SPAR and TSD7 Bluetooth pairing. We've been getting a lot of questions about how to connect the SPAR utility locator to Trimble's new, newer Windows 10 data collectors, namely the TSD7 and T10. Uh, the first thing you have to make sure of is that you're running Trimble Access 2723 or lower and you can check that by tapping the Trimble globe in the upper left hand part of the screen and checking about. So yes we are on the correct version uh, on a TSC 7 you can go down to 2720 uh, that's the lowest it'll go. Just make sure you're not running Access 2018 or 2019 it has to be 2723 or lower for this to work. So let's get into the utility survey program. And this is the problem that we were seeing. So we'll go ahead, any, any key to continue. And when you're in the style menu, where you connect the, uh, the SPAR utility locator to the data collector, in the past, under the SPAR connection, we've had a Bluetooth option. If we click that here, it is no longer there. We have a bunch of COM ports and an emulator. So that's all we've got. So we had to find a workaround for that. So let me get out of this again. So what I'm going to do is actually connect a, a SPAR utility locator for the first time to this particular data collector so that you can see the process uh, in the Windows 10 operating system. Oh, where do we go? There's a couple ways to get to the Bluetooth menu on a Windows 10 data collector. If you're in Trimble Access, you can tap Settings and Connect, and then Bluetooth, and then all the way down here on Config. This will take you into the Windows 10 Bluetooth menu, and then we can tap Add Bluetooth or Other Device, Bluetooth here. And the Firefly C868 is the SPAR utility locator. So we can tap on that device and it'll say connecting. And the pin should be one, two, three, four for the SPARs and tap connect. So there it kind of went quickly through there. It said the device was ready to go. Uh, we can just tap on config again to make sure everything is good. Okay, there it is. Okay, we can set to say done. Um, before we exit out of this menu, we want to check the COM port for this TSC7 Dispar Bluetooth pairing. So if you scroll through here, you will actually see the Firefly C868. And this is the Windows 10 menu right now. And we can only click on it or remove the device. We can't look at any of the properties. So this is kind of a, a Windows 10 Bluetooth tip. Scroll all the way down with the stylus or the mouse if you have it plugged in to devices and printers. This is an additional menu buried deeper within the Windows operating system. And we can scroll through here and find the Firefly or, or the SPAR device. If you tap and hold on it or right click it with the mouse, you'll get properties. And then go to the services services tab here and this should give you the COM port right here I've got COM 51 so write that down and now we can exit out of here okay exit get out of here get out of here we can escape out of there and, uh, and then close out of this and now we can get back into the utility survey uh, app within Trimble Access. Tap any key to continue. And now we can go into the style section of Utility Survey. And you can set all your settings here depending on what you're doing, but what, what we're concerned about right now is this COM port. So that was COM51. There it is. Select that, hit Enter. Uh, we'll just go into the Line section real quick. And we'll just see if this is going to connect right now. There it's connecting. And 
And if we've got some um, numbers up here, uh, we don't have a survey started, but um, it looks like we've got a uh, connection here and you can continue, continue on to use a uh, utility locator with the SPAR like you have in the past with older data collectors. That's all for this tech tip. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at SilerGeo.com and be sure to look us up and subscribe on all major social media platforms.